and not a blistering pace as they race to the first of only seven flights this time with Imperial Brush the leader from Ambassador over on the far side, Deep Sensation on the near side, then comes Joyful Noise, Don Valentino on the far side, Persilent and uh, a Farris do and jump it up sides. The back marker at the moment is out of range. And it's Imperial Brush and Ambassador. Ambassador just going on for Imperial Brush. A little between them. Deep sensation on the near side. Then comes Badihar and Don Valentino and Wonder Man and Joyful Noise. Just behind them, a Farris Dune. Sudden victory with Hill Street on his near side. Then Rampallion and Persilent. And behind them, Jigsy Jack taking a good hold. And then Magnus Pym and Royal Derby out of range is just the back marker with upsides with just ahead of him positive and over the far side now imperial brush the leader from deep sensation and on the inside as usual peter scudamore and ambassador don valentino's next then joyful noise and wonder man and then on the inner is barry Harn a faris dune and then hill street and rampallion and sudden victory and purcell and behind them magnus pym and jinxie jack then positive and royal derby and out of range as they come to the next coming to the second deep sensation Imperial Brush and Ambassador on the near side, Don Valentino and Wonder Man, then Joyful Noise, then Rampallion on the inner. Behind them come Hill Street and Southern Victory and Faris Dune, and then Jinxy Jack and Persilent and Magnus Pym and Positive and Royal Derby and out of range. As they race towards the next flight, number three, Ambassador on the inside, racing wide, and that's nearest to us, is Deep Sensation. Between them is Imperial Brush, and then Joyful Noise, and then Wonder Man, Don Valentino on the near side, um, Moody Man, I should call him, racing towards the next. The fourth, Deep Sensation, showing nearest to us from Imperial Brush. Then comes Ambassador, Joyful Noise, Don Valentino. Racing round the top turn now. And remember, they only have three flights left to jump now because they missed the cross flight. And as they round this turn, it's Imperial Brush and Deep Sensation disputing it from Joyful Noise. Then on the inside comes Ambassador Don Valentino. A Farris Dune going well on the outside, just in behind them, Sudden Victory. Then comes Hill Street going well, with Mark Dwyer making ground on the inside. Racing now towards the home turn in the Tote Gold Trophy. And as they do so, it's Deep Sensation, Imperial Brush and Joyful Noise. Then just in behind them, Persilent making good ground. Don Valentino's well in touch. Sudden Victory is going up there too to join them. A Farris Dune well in touch and so is Hill Street. They got four furlongs to run now and three flights left to jump. And it's Deep Sensation, Imperial Brush, Joyful Noise behind them. Hill Street over on the far side. Then comes Ambassador, three furlongs, they're coming to the three furlong pole now. Imperial Brush and Deep Sensation from Joyful Noise. Hill Street under pressure will be winning nothing, coming to the second last. And it's Imperial Brush and Deep Sensation, Deep Sensation, Imperial Brush. Joyful Noise over on the far side, mistake there by Don Valentino, puts him out of it. Two furlongs to run and one flight left to jump in the Tote Gold Trophy and it's Deep Sensation on the near side. Joyful Noise on the far side, Imperial Brush between horses. Jinxy Jack moves into fourth. This is the final flight. Deep Sensation landed in the lead from Joyful Noise. A furlong to run. Deep Sensation with Joyful Noise and the sheepskin nose band for Allen fighting it out with him. And it's Deep Sensation and Joyful Noise. These two as they race up towards the line. Deep Sensation on the near side. Joyful Noise on the far side. Deep Sensation and Joyful Noise and a photo finish to the Tote Gold Trophy. Imperial Brush is third and four was Booty Man. Five came Jinxy Jack and then Royal Derby and sudden victory and behind them came Ambassador and Persilent and then Hill Street the disappointing Hill Street and then out of range behind him is Baddy Har behind Baddy Har is Magnus Pym on a Paris Dune and behind a Paris Dune was Don Faris Don Valentino and last in fact was Rampallion and so the result of the Tote Gold Trophy is a photo finish a very close photo finish between number five deep sensation on the near side and number four joyful noise for Ireland on the far side with indubitably the longtime leader Imperial Brush third Moody Man fourth but there is not only a stewards inquiry 
there is also there is not only a photo finish there is also a stewards inquiry and a very close photo this between number five on the near side deep sensation number four joyful noise on the far side a dramatic finish at the end of a most unusual Schweppes or Toko trophy because the first three were in the first three throughout and were never headed in the center there coming under pressure was the longtime leader deep sensation always with him was out of range the two yellow colors and Arthur uh, and uh, Tom Taff was always in third place on joyful noise coming to the last and he looked the most likely winner coming to the last deep sensation however just rose in front on the stand side here is where the two horses have come very close together did joyful noise come a little bit over towards deep sensation Richard Rose riding with his whip in his left hand and Tom Taff in his right halfway up the run in joyful noise has got his head in front for Ireland but in the last 50 yards it looks as if deep sensations battled his way back again to win for Josh Gifford Josh who won four out of the first five runnings of the race for Ryan Price desperately close to the line but it looks as though